let's start. <laughs> added some ads today. Uh, it's always fun to go out there on the first day and, you know, knock your heads around a bit and get it loose, loosened out, you know, and, you know, knock the dust off the pads. And I think we did a good job for the first day in Chelsea. And I uh, was talking yesterday in Brewer today just about the girls' confidence and comfort in the chancing system. What is it about the system that you guys seem to take it to the Well, first of all, it's just about, you know, how we did in the spring. We came and attacked the new defense and, you know, everyone got in the meeting room and we got our younger guys up the par and that's something that's very hard to do. And uh, we took the challenge and we went for it and uh, we accomplished the mission. And uh, as a defense, uh, you know, we're just trying to get better each and every single day. And uh, Coach Jansen makes sure that, you know, that it's not too complicated for us. And if it is, we're going back and we're reviewing. And if not, the leaders on the defense, we're getting our young guys. We're having meetings at the, you know, at lunch and things like that and make, to ensure that, you know, we don't have any mental breakdowns with the defense. I feel like you're maybe already playing faster in this defense than you did any time last year. Most certainly, most certainly. Uh, this defense is really, it's really simple, and uh, Coach Coach Janzik, he's a simple, simplistic type of guy, and he doesn't like to do anything too fancy, and uh, that's something that we like as a defense, and I think it's going to help us out come uh, this fall. How confident are you that the pass rush is going to be significantly better? It's going to be great. It's going to be great. We got so many different attributes on the defensive line. We got Big Dan, you know, and he can take up a double team and let me rush off the edge, and you know, Corey Miller on the other side. We got Mo Couch, B Rusher up the up the B gap. You know. We got <clears throat> Daniel Hood, he's great with his games and you know you can run anything with him. And we got some young freshmen too that with a lot of speed. And you throw them in the mix like Jalen Miller and uh, you know Corey Green. You know, we got we have a great defensive line and I think we got a lot of talent and we just gotta continue to, you know, use the techniques that Coach Strip has been teaching us and I think it'll definitely play in our favor come this fall. What makes Skip such a good pass rest coach? He's just a great technician. I mean like he's technical with everything he's do with everything he teaches us and uh, it's all about the little details for us and, and that's something that we, we all try to get down and uh, once we do get it down I think we're going to be a solid defensive line. Is the case where it might not be one guy getting a whole lot of sacks but just spread around because all the depth has their own? I think defense as a total it will have just a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of sacks. I mean it'll be probably coming from the defensive line, linebackers. We just have so many variations of things that we do as a defense to where you don't know where, where we're going to attack you and that's something that Coach James at, you know, has in store and uh, it's going to be great. I just can't wait to go out there this fall and, and show what we got. How important will it be to put pressure on the quarterback without having to blitz a lot and commit a lot of guys? I think it'll be definitely, it'll be really important, uh, especially after last season. You know, uh, we saw the, the things of, you know, the lack of presence by the defensive line, you know, affecting the quarterback. And that's something that we made as a challenge to ourselves, you know, this past spring. we got to get after the quarterback. And that's something that we did, and we increased our, our number and hits on the quarterback and affecting the pocket and things like that. And that's something that we, we're still challenging ourselves today. we got to get better at our techniques and little things that will help us improve, you know, getting sacks and getting, like, PPEs and things like that. Because, I mean, if you don't have a lot of sacks in the game, you know, those are those are big time plays and those are those are things that change the game. Do you sense that there are fewer mistakes, not as many MAs out there with the whole defense? So, definitely. With coming in and I mean we we meet so much and uh, especially not only that, our leaders are just taking the initiative, like me, Corey Miller and Daniel Hood and Marlon Walls. You know, we take the initiative to go and, you know, meet with our young guys if they're confused about something. Like maybe maybe I'm explaining it a different way and Marlon can explain it better. We're all taking the initiative to make sure that our young guys are getting each and every call and each and every you know defensive assignment to, to where they don't have to think about it and they can go out there and play and not be frustrated. Why has the pass rush been an issue in previous seasons? It seems to have the sack totals have been what you probably wanted the last few years. What's been the root problem? Here? Just really just not being able to just pin our ears back and go. And that's something that this defense allows you to do. And uh, I mean, they, you can tell by the statistics of uh, the staff. So uh, I think it will play in our favor this season. All the guys you named, the defensive end, what do you have to do to, to separate yourself from the pack and to earn a start? I just got to keep consistent with my play and go out each and every single day and you know continue to be the leader that I am for the team and just give my all as of all. You guys kind of preach that there's no starters at this point. How much have they told you that it's just wide open at defensive end? It, it definitely is. I mean, we work hard each and every single day, and it's not a competition. It's a brotherhood. We watch, we watch film together. We eat together. I mean, even at night, we're like going over plays right before we go to bed to make sure that you know all of us know it. Because I mean, if one of us goes down, you know, you never know what happens. And if one of us goes down, whether it be me, Marlon, Corey, you know, the next guy has to step up. 
and we, I mean, we all want to win, don't we? Regardless of position, I'm just wondering, is there anybody who's just really caught your attention so far, either these first two days or this summer, anybody who's really stood out? I was the first, uh, I would say Jalen Miller. Uh, he's explosive. He reminds me of myself. He's just explosive, explosive, has a quick twitch, and can really dip off the edge. And I mean, I, yeah, I didn't even know, but he said he had 27 sacks as a senior, and that, that's crazy. He only had 13. So, I mean, I, I can't wait to see him on the field and to see him do his thing. Have you had any one-on-one -on -one battles with Tiny? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We had one today. Uh, Tiny came after me, you know, we duked it out. I mean, I can't wait. I mean, I can't wait to get the full pads on. We can really go at it. But today was a great, great first day for me and Tiny. So how, how's he like compared to last year? Can you even notice him? Tiny's gotten a lot stronger. <laughs> he's gotten a lot stronger. As you can tell, he's a lot leaner, he's more cut, and he can go, uh, you know, those extra plays. And that's something that we definitely need him to do in this high tempo offense. And uh, I think uh, defensive ends, who uh, his opponent are going to have a difficult time, uh, you know, defending. Who won, that, who won that one on one battle? Uh, I, I would just say it's a draw, and <laughs> I, I know Ty, I know exactly what Tiny would say, but I'm going to say it's a draw. Did you have downs today? Yes, I did. You got him, though, didn't you? Oh yeah, most certainly. <laughs> uh, I had to pay him. I had to pay him one. Uh, downs is a junior, and he uh, he he definitely is. Uh, Someone who needs to step up, especially in that tight end position, and uh, him and Woody Quinn. I mean, I mean Woody. You know, they just need to continue to you know, like take that, take leadership for that group, and that's just something that I just wanted to challenge and send a message to him. And I'm pretty sure you got it today. I know Tiny was limited this spring, but the way y'all were able to hold your hold your own against that veteran offensive line this spring, how much of a confidence boost was that for you going into the summer and going into the training camp? Yeah. It definitely is, because I mean, we let, we lost confidence as a defense, you know, being in that three-four as a D-line. And going back to it, we knew that you know we're a great defensive line. We we know the scheme, and we know we're great. We're all great football players. And being able to attack a great offensive line like that this spring and get after them, I mean, it, it brought it, it definitely boosted our confidence. And that's something that we just try to get better at each and every single day. It's just little things that will continue to boost that confidence going into this this season.